Hi! Good day to everyone, especially to all the students out there. I hope that all of you are safe and healthy. Just stay at your home because today I will be your teacher that will discuss about signs. Do you love signs? Oh wow! Very good! I know that all of you really love signs. Me too! I love signs. Okay? Now, before anything else, I will shortly introduce myself to you. Okay, I'm Mr. Rogelio Rivera, a science teacher, graduated last 2011 at Pamantasan ng Lunsod ng Valenzuela or PLV. Are you familiar with that school? Oh, I know that all of you are familiar with that school because that school is very prestigious school in Valenzuela. But not only in Valenzuela, but to the entire country. I took up a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Biological Science. And also class, I am a public school teacher since 2013 up to present. Okay? So, that's all the uh, short description about myself. Now, kilala nyo na ba ako? Alright, I know that all of you are familiar with, now with me. Okay? Now, Okay, are you excited to explore the world of science? Oh, I know that all of you are excited. Okay, now let's start our lesson today because today you will learn a lot about science. Okay, now our first topic about science is the circulatory system. Are you familiar with the circulatory system? Oh, I know that all of you are familiar with this. But, some of you are not, okay? No matter what, we, we will explore this together, okay? Now, okay, I want to test your idea if you have an idea about this, okay? Now, you have to get your notebook. You have your notebook? Oh, you must have a notebook, okay? Because you will need it today, okay? And a ball pen. So, this is a notebook and this is a ball pen, okay? Now, on your notebook, we're going to arrange the following word or words and form a sentence that will describe the circulatory system, okay? On the next slide, you will see a different word and then form a sentence out of it, okay? Then, we will check that later, okay? So, that sentence must, okay? Um explain or describe the circulatory system now here are the words or the words okay now this short activity has a time limit okay so the time limit for that is one minute now are you ready Oh, I know you are ready. Okay, let's start. The game begins in three, two, one. You can do it, class. Go, go, go! 20 seconds left! Three, two, one! Alright! Time's up! Okay? So, please do not write anything now to your notebook because it's already uh, time's up. Okay? Now, I want to, che to check by your own, okay, for your answer. Now, please be honest 
while you are checking your work. Okay? Is that okay? Oh, very good. Now, let's check your work. Now, when we say circulatory system, it is or is, is responsible for materials throughout the entire body. Okay. So, with that, if you got that correct answer, well, congratulations. Okay. Congratulations for that. Now, if you did not get that right answer, well, that's okay because you will explore and you will learn a lot about circulatory system today. Okay? So, allow me to explain a little bit about this uh, description about circulatory system. So, according to this description, the circulatory system is responsible for transporting materials. Responsible for transporting materials. Now, what is that materials class? Okay, that materials is the essential materials needed in our body. So, what are those kind of materials? Okay, one of the example is the protein, the nutrients, okay, the oxygen, the minerals, anything that is needed in our body. Now, what system in the body is responsible for transporting that? And that is the circulatory system, okay? So, circulatory system is very important because without this, we cannot live longer or we cannot survive, okay? Now, let's have another part. Okay, let's find out. Now, what you're going to do with this is this. Okay, I want you to think the right part or the components of circulatory system in our body. What do you think are the parts or the components of the, of the circulatory system? Do you have any idea? Oh, we will find out today. Okay? Now, get again your notebook. Okay? And your ball pen. Okay? Now, I want you to write a term that will describe the um, part of a circulatory system. Okay? Now, I will help you to do that. Okay? Because... You're going to choose. So, there is a choices. Okay? For you to have a correct answer. So, you're going to pick the best answer for that. Okay? That you think that is the part of the circulatory system. So, there are only four correct answers. Okay? Are you ready? Oh, you must be ready. Okay? Let's start. Now, here are the following parts of the body. Now, we're going to choose only four. Four parts or components in the circulatory system. Okay, for this short activity again, I'll give you one minute to do this. And your timer starts now. The game begins in three, two, one. Boom! You can do it again, just like what you did last time or a while ago. You have to choose only four. You can do that. All right. Time's up. Okay. Please. Ball pens up. 
Okay, you're not allowed to answer anymore for this uh, activity. Okay, now we will check now your work. Okay, now please check by your own. Be honest. No, while you are checking your own work. Okay. Now, here are the correct answer. We have first blood, veins, heart, and lastly, what do you think is the last answer? Okay, the arteries. Okay, with that, if we got that four parts of the circulatory system, well, congratulations. Congratulations because you made it okay so please keep it up because um we will uh, explore more about circulatory system okay so moving on to our lesson or to our topic now are you following our topic oh i, I hope that all of you are following our topic okay just sit back and pay attention to our discussion now Let's have first a trivia about circulatory system. Okay, there are three major parts of the circulatory system. Okay, and these are the following. Number one is the heart. Are you familiar with the heart? Of course, you must be familiar with the heart because we have a heart. Okay, blood vessels. And lastly, the blood. Again, what are the three major parts? Alright, we have heart, okay, blood vessel, and the blood. Okay, so these are the three major parts of the circulatory system. Now, I will explain each part of this um, circulatory system. Okay, let's go first with the heart. Okay. Now, what is heart? Okay, what is the function of the heart in the, in the circulatory system? Okay, so the heart pumps the blood throughout the body. Okay, now without the heart, the materials in our body will not go throughout the entire body, our entire body. Okay, because the heart serves as the force okay that exerts okay in our body in order for that materials okay to move no throughout our body okay so without the heart the materials needed by our body okay will not be moved okay now so that is the functions of the heart okay again what's the function of the heart Alright, it pumps the blood throughout the body. Okay, please take note of that because later on we'll be having an evaluation about this. Okay? Next. Alright, let's have another part of the function of the heart. Okay, in our body. Now, our heart comprises with four parts. Okay? So we have here the um, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. Okay, we call it as the four chambers of the heart. Okay, when we say chambers, it is a container, like somewhat a small container inside our heart. Okay, now once the blood goes into the two atrium, the left and right, okay, it will go through the uh, ventricles which are the right and left ventricle okay then once it goes into the ventricle it will goes out to this part so this part is what we call the pulmonary arteriole okay later on i will discuss about the arteries okay now let's have another look about the heart okay now, as you can see, so the blood flows to this tube, okay, goes to the uh, atrium, then after it will go to the uh, ventricle, 
and goes out to the um, pulmonary arteries. Okay? So, the ventricle receives the blood coming from the atrium. So, you must take note of that. Okay? Now, so that is the um, functions or the concept about the heart. Now, are you following our topic? Oh, I, I hope that all of you are following our topic. Okay? Now, did you know that a newborn babies have the fastest heartbeat? OMG! Newborn babies have the fastest heartbeat. Okay, imagine that. Another trivia is, did you know that our heart is located at the middle of your chest? So, where's the middle of our chest? This is the middle of our chest. So, this is where the heart located. Okay? Okay, 100,000 times beats per day. Amazing. Okay? Next is, our heart pumps 2,000 gallons of blood. Imagine how many gallons is being pumped. So, these are the some of the trivia or facts about the heart. Okay? So, interesting, right? Okay. Now, let's uh, moving on to our topic. Now, the next part of the blood, uh, the circulatory system rather, is the blood vessel. Okay? Now, the blood vessel carries the blood throughout the body. Okay? So, it serves as a channel or an avenue wherein the materials will flow and goes throughout our body. Okay? So, that is the blood vessel. It carries the blood throughout the body. Okay? So, that is the function of blood vessel. Now, the blood vessel comes with three types. Okay? What are those types? Alright. So, we have the arteries. This one the veins, and the capillaries. Okay? Again, what are the three types? We have the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Okay? Now, what is arteries? Okay. Arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart, tissues, and organs of the body. Okay? Now, our heart has a when, when you look at the heart of a person, okay, you will notice that there is a tube, a big tube, okay? And that tube is what we call arteries, okay? The arteries is, um, uh, okay, the arteries a bigger diameter than the other blood vessel, okay? Now, here is the example of arteries. Now, the next blood vessel is the veins, okay? It is much, uh, a little smaller than the arteries, okay? What is the function of veins? The veins carries oxygenated blood to the heart or the oxygenated blood to the heart, okay? So, the veins usually uh, much longer than the arteries. So, the capillaries is much smaller than the veins, okay? The uh, diameter of the tube of this um, blood vessel is very thin, okay? Um, 10 times thin as one strand of our hair. Oh, amazing, okay? So much thin, okay? So the smallest blood vessel in the body connecting the smallest arteries to the smallest veins. The actual site where gases and nutrients are exchanged. So, this is the site wherein the nutrients and gases are exchanged. Okay? So, those are the types of blood vessel. So, again, what are the types of blood vessel? Okay, first is the arteries. Second, the veins. And the third is capillaries. Okay? 
Now, the next part or components of a circulatory system is, are you familiar with the blood? Of course, you are familiar with the blood, okay? Because we have a blood, alright? Now, okay, did you know that there are about 5 million OM? 5 million of red blood cells in one drop of blood. Oh my goodness, that is too many cells or red blood cells in one drop, okay? So, we must take care of our blood because once it goes out in our body, okay, of course, we will die, okay? So, we need to take care of ourselves, okay? Take care of our blood because that is very important in our life, okay? Now, let's talk about the blood. The blood carries the materials throughout the body. Okay. The blood or a blood is somewhat look like this one. A. So, what is this class? So, this is a box. So, what is the function of the box? Okay. So, most of you that a box, okay, can hold a material, okay? We can put anything here. We can put um, anything, no, that can fit on this box, okay? So, it holds a material or a thing, okay? Just like a blood, okay? A blood is like a box. It carries the materials... No, that can be passed throughout the body. Okay. What materials is inside the blood? So that is the all right. The needed or the essential materials needed in our body, like nutrients, okay, minerals, and oxygen. So that is the function of the blood. It serves as a container of materials. Alright? So, those are the following parts or components of circulatory system. Again, what are those um, parts or components of the circulatory system? Let's have first. Again. Alright. The heart. Okay? The heart the heart okay the second is all right the blood vessel okay the blood vessel comes with three types what are those types first is the arteries the second is the okay the veins and the third is the all right the capillaries all right now, the third and last part or components of the circulatory system. Okay. And this is the last component, the blood. Okay. Now, let's have again an activity. Alright. Now, you have to get any piece of paper. Um, maybe a bond paper. You have to pre prepare a bond paper. Or... Now, let's have an activity. Please do it honestly. Do not browse on the internet or any references. Is that okay? Oh, very good. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is this. Rearrange the random words below to identify the functions of the given parts of the circulatory system. Okay. Now, there are um, 10, okay, um, items for this activity, and it consists of um, two parts, okay? Now, this is the first part of your activity. Now, what you're going to do is to rearrange this, okay, this word, okay, to form a description of this term. 
Now, for each item, there is a time limit. So, the time limit allotted is 1 minute. Okay. Now, your 1 minute starts now. You can do it, class. Please be honest with your answer. Five seconds left. Time's up. Now, for number two, your timer starts. Okay, now. Okay, time's up. Next. Your timer starts now. Three, two, one. Okay, time's up. Next. Okay, time's up. Your timer starts now.
Okay, time's up. Next. go on to the next item number or item
Okay. Now, this is the second part of your activity. Now, you're going to answer this. This, base your own words. So, you have to explain the function of the circulatory system. Write it on your notebook. Your timer for this is one minute. And your timer starts now. <laughs> that you have done okay so you have to pass that to your parents will uh, pass it to your respective school and your teacher will check that okay now let's talk about our topic now when we say circulatory system it is the life support that uh, nourishes your cells with blood and oxygen there are three major parts of the circulatory system. We have the heart, the blood vessel. The blood vessel comes with three types. We have the arteries, veins, and capillaries. And the last part or major part of the circulatory system is the blood. So that's all a quick recap about our topic. Okay? I hope that all of you are following our topic and also... Uh, paying attention to our discussion. Okay? Now, I want to test again your idea. An evaluation. Okay? Or a test. Now, I want you to get a piece of paper but not your notebook because your notebook contains a lecture. Okay? Of our discussion or topic today. Okay? Now, I'll give you 5 seconds to get a piece of paper. 1. Two, 
3, 4, 5. Okay. I hope that you have now a piece of paper. Are you ready for your quiz? Okay. This is an online quiz or a video quiz. Okay. Now, let's start. Your um, test consists of two parts. Okay. For part one, there are only five items. For the second part, uh, three item only. All in all, eight item. Okay? So, here is the first part. Okay. What you're going to do is to identify the word being described by the following statements. Choose your answer inside the box. So, there is a choice set. Okay? Now, number one. It pumps the blood throughout the body. So, what do you think is your answer? Okay, again, there is a time limit for this. I allotted 30 seconds. Okay, so your timer starts now. You can do it. Please be honest. Do not ask somebody in your house to answer this item or this question. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, number 2. Carries the oxygen rich blood away from the heart and where it needs to go. Your timer starts now. Two, one. Okay. Next. Number three. It carries the materials throughout the body. What do you think is the right answer? Okay, number four, the transport media of nearly everything within the body. It transports hormones, nutrients, oxygen, antibodies, and other important things needed to keep the body healthy. Your timer starts now. You can do it. Please be honest with your answer. Do not cheat. Okay, time's up. And for the last item, a vast net number five, a vast network of organs and blood vessels that acts both as a delivery and waste removal system for the body. So what do you think is the best answer for this? Okay, your timer starts now. All right, ten seconds. Alright, okay, now the second part of your evaluation or test is this, 
We're going to label the major parts of the circulatory system. Alright, so... This is very easy for you. I think this is very easy for you. You have to label the, um, the following item, okay? Connecting to the, uh, uh, parts of the body. So, your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. Okay, please do not, do not write anything on your piece of paper because we will check that today. Okay, so please be honest while you are checking your own work. Okay, because um, it will um, evaluate whatever you learn from our topic today. Okay. So, let's check your answer. So, for number one, the answer is heart. It pumps the blood throughout the body. You got the correct answer? Okay, if you got that, congratulations. Okay, number two, carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart and where it needs to go. So, what do you think is the answer? Okay, the answer is arteries. Okay. If you got that again, well, congratulations. Next, it carries the materials throughout the body. So the answer for that is the blood. Okay. Next, the transport media of nearly everything within the body. It transports hormones, nutrients, oxygen, antibodies, and other important things needed to keep the body healthy. So the answer is veins. Okay, you got that correct answer? Well, very good. A vast network of organs and blood vessels that acts both as a delivery and waste no removal system for the body. The answer is circulatory system. Okay? So, if you got five correct answer, well, very good. That is a good um, work. For you okay because you learned a lot from our topic now if you get an average score for that or for this well that's good okay you have to study hard okay keep researching on our topic now if you get a low score well uh, do not be dis disappointed with yourself because uh, there is a uh, another okay chances for you to research and to learn more about this topic okay now let's check the second part of your test so number one the answer is vein number two capillaries and number three is the heart okay now the uh did you get the uh, high score well very good congratulations okay now, let's go on to this last part of our discussion, an agreement. So, we will have an agreement, okay? okay? Best thing, you have to choose your favorite animals, okay? And label the components of the circulatory system. So, for example, I love dog. So, I will uh, draw a dog on a piece of then I will locate, okay? Which is the arteries, um, heart, and other components of the circulatory system. Okay? So, please do that because that is our agreement. Now, if you have any question, you have to message me on Facebook. Uh, search me on Facebook, Rogelio Licando Rivera. Any questions about our topic or anything about science. So, that's all for today, class. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Keep safe and be healthy. God bless everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.